four wide receivers. Cunningham to Barnett. And let's see if the forward progress is enough for an eagle first down. Corey Raymond was defending on the play as uh, Cunningham helps Barnett up. And it appears to be a Philadelphia first down with under a minute to play. Well, I got to tell you, there's no one happier that Fred Barnett is back on this team than Randall Cunningham. Now, Richie Kotai said he was excited to have him back. But Fred Barnett, you know, he is a guy who Cunningham is very comfortable with, and he has not hesitated at all to throw the ball in in tight coverage. First down on the 27. Cunningham fires. And the pass is caught wide open is James Joseph. And another Eagle first down and a penalty flag as well, thrown at about the 10-yard line. Actually, that's maybe a holding call against the Eagles. Ineligible offensive team downfield, number 74. Five yards, repeat first down. That was Bernard Williams downfield, the rookie tackle. Hey, you see him smacking his head. He knew it was wrong. They'll talk him and tell him to calm down, but he knew it right away. Bernard Williams at six foot eight and around 290, he lost about 25 pounds in training camp. This is a guy who's going to be a pretty good football player. He's having his rough moments right now, but he's got those great long arms. 15 seconds remaining in the quarter, first and 15 following the penalty. Cunningham tries to get it out to Joseph. Nine seconds remaining in the third quarter. Randall doesn't seem too pleased. Well, I think he's talking to Joseph about you know, getting out there, and you know his offensive line had to cut some people and just pop out and get on the other side. He's just going to pop it to him. It didn't happen. Big Broderick Thompson right there, 76. Giants... Uh, Respond with six defensive backs and Jesse Armstead in the lineup on second down and 15. Cunningham's pass is caught. Perfect slam pass. And it's Victor Bailey, and that'll be another Eagles first down inside the 15-yard line. And the clock runs down, and that is the end of the third quarter with the score. The Giants 28 and the Eagles 13. Fox NFL Sunday will continue after these messages your local Fox station. For Giants Stadium, the Giants lead the Eagles 28 to 13. Philadelphia is threatening. Aerial shots of today's NFC's football game provided by the MetLife Blimp Snoopy One. First and 10 on the 13, Herschel Walker gets inside the 10-yard line. Carlton Bailey making the tackle on Walker, who caught a pass, 94-yard pass and run toward the end of the first half that set up the first Eagles touchdown of the game. Now when you get down to this red zone territory, what really becomes a big plus for the Philadelphia Eagles are Randall Cunningham's legs. So he'll buy some time by rolling out and getting himself in a position to let things develop. Second down and six. There's Walker leaping to about the seven-yard line, and Corey Raymond in on the play. Giants lead 28 to 13. Eagles have gone over 300 yards. A lot of offense today, and special teams as well. Cunningham has thrown for 256 yards. Meggett has scored two touchdowns for the Giants, including a second career rushing touchdown. Third and four. Play fake, and here comes Cunningham to run, and he's he stopped at about the five-yard line. And it was Mike Fox, awfully strong, with help from Corey Miller, who's had a big game for the Giants defensively. Corey Miller's come up with some big plays, and has set up a fourth down, fourth and short. But what I didn't like about that, if you're going to have Cunningham roll out, you want to turn it right into a running play. You have running backs who are good runners, Heck, let Cunningham buy some time out there. Use those legs to stretch the defense. And the Eagles have called a timeout and will return 
Big moment coming up for the Eagles in this game. Fourth down and two. Looks like a one and a half for the Eagles. The Giants stop the Eagles on fourth down. Following McMillan's interception early in the ball game. Let's see what happens here. There's Vaughn Hebron. And he dives forward. Let's see where they spot the ball. Jarvis Williams coming up from the secondary. Well, if he got it, that was all second effort by Hebron. Because he got smacked, put his head down, and then he just kept those feet going. They're going to measure. That's where that extra pound, 10 pounds that he put on, come in handy. Giants stopped the Eagles earlier on fourth down and a yard. Hey, he got it. By a little more than the length of a football, and it'll be first and goal now for Hebron and the Eagles. Hey, watch Hebron makes up his mind. Watch him put his head down, his shoulders down, and I mean, he wants to get this first down right here. Turn back inside, square your shoulders. Look at this. Boom. Watch the feet. Keep going. He got a little bit of help there from Lester Holmes, too, with a good push. That's great effort by Vaughn Hebron. Only 5'8", but he's got strong legs. First and goal now for the Eagles at the Giant 3. James Joseph. No game. And that time, Corey Raymond. Cutting in from the secondary, making the play. And an eagle is down. And the injured Philadelphia eagle is Lester Holmes. You just talked about the right guard, the former number one draft pick by Philadelphia. And we're going to take a break early here in the fourth quarter. Mr. Holmes has left the game on his own power, and Rob Selby, number 75, replaces him. And right guard for the Eagles, who have a second down and goal coming up on the four. This is the 14th play of the drive coming up. And it's consumed nearly six and a half minutes. Yeah, and they get it up and down the field, but this is the area of the field where the New York Giants really play tough defense. They play a good tight zone down here, and then they really get after it up front. Cunningham to throw. His pass overthrown, intended for Joseph. Corey Miller was defending him in the corner. Now that was a dead giveaway that it was going to be a pass. They went with no backs in the backfield. We used to call it ghost formation. The only run that you can have is a quarterback sneak or a quarterback draw. So then that just makes everybody diffuse in the secondary and match up in the man. It'll bring up third down. And there's a penalty that's going to be marked off now. It may be a holding call. And Rob Selby, who just entered the game for Lester Holmes, guilty of holding. So they'll repeat the second down. It'll be second down and goal, and the ball back with the 14. Cunningham going for the end zone to Bavaro, and it's overthrown. Cunningham had wide open Herschel Walker all alone to the left side that he didn't see. And what he was doing was looking to his right side all the way. He didn't see the whole field. And again, that's where the Giants play that good zone defense. They get down there, and everybody tightens it up. So really, it's tough to see. They're matching up on men. As soon as they come into your zone, you clamp right onto them. You saw Jesse Campbell and rookie Thomas Randolph from Kansas State come in the game in the nickel. It'll be third down and goal. Six defensive backs for the Giants. Cunningham finds 
Walker, but the pass thrown behind him, incomplete, and it'll be fourth down. And the Eagles, remember, had first and goal inside the 10. Cunningham tried to look those safeties off to try to pull them away from Walker swinging out in the flat. But again, it's the zone that's been working so well for the Giants. They just waited patiently, knowing he has to get to the goal line, and then, of course, it was an incomplete pass. So the Eagles bring on Eddie Murray. Bubby Brister, the reserve quarterback, will hold a 31-yard attempt. Murray has connected on field goals from 22 and 39 yards. And a whistle as Murray kicks. Delay, Delay of the Offense. game called against Philadelphia. Five yards. Interesting with Still Brister as the holder. Yeah, yeah, he's in now. Usually it's Berger who's the holder. They bring Brister in, which gives him the possibility of a throwing fake. There is Mitch Berger, the rookie punter. This will now be a 36 yard field goal attempt. And Eddie Murray's kick is good. So Eddie Murray's foot has kept the Philadelphia Eagles in this ball game. His third field goal of the game makes it 28 to 16, the Giants. Watch Bubby Brister. He's not the normal holder Berger is. Now the snap will be inside. He does a great job of getting it down. But here's a cardinal sin. See the laces? Yeah, that's the point. You're not supposed to see the laces if you're the kicker. But Murray knocks it through anyway. Murray with his third field goal. Murray kicked with the Cowboys last year. Most of his career with Detroit. Berger with a short kick. And it'll be Dave Meggett at the 15. Meggett has an opening. And it closes at the 32-yard line by Brian O'Neill. Well, this game is presented by authority of the National Football League and is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the New York Giants and the National Football League is prohibited. Intense game between two longtime rivals. The 120th time the Eagles and Giants have met. Finding out who they are. Oh. This game will go a long way to determining that. First down, Giants on their 33. Rodney Hampton bounces off a defender and gets good yardage before Greg Jackson, his former teammate, makes the stop, a gain of six. Nice block inside in the trap by William Roberts that lets Hampton get through the hole. I think the thing Hampton does well is he's a big man. Now he's going to follow the block. You're going to see 66 right here pull. Watch the trap on Fuller. Now once he's into the secondary, now that's a big, strong man. That's a tough guy to bring down. Mark Jackson and Thomas Lewis are the wide receivers for the Giants. Jackson in motion on second and four. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. It is Hampton by William Thomas and Michael Zordich. You know, Michael Zordich, they brought him up in an eight-man front. And if you walk him up late, all he'll do is look, and he becomes the running back on defense. He's just looking for the open hole. When you find a hole, you just shoot it. Sets up a third down. Former Cardinal, as you mentioned, the Eagles feel they have the best safeties they've ever had. And Jackson, the former Giant, and Zordich, the former Cardinal. Third down and six. After the loss of two. Brown has a receiver. And it's big Howard Cross in a first down. First catch of the day for the tight end known for his blocking. And a gain of 21 yards. And well, Cross came across and he was wide open. And Greg Jackson sees it all the way. And you're going to see the break in the ball. They'll go with the fake. They've tried that reverse three times. Now they fake it. They bring Cross down. He bends in, sets down in the open area. Now watch Greg Jackson go for the ball right at the end. So he drew a bead. He should have made the tackle instead of trying to go for the interception. Dan Reeves was abusive in his praise of Howard Cross when we talked to him. I don't know if, that, if that's good, but if it is, that, that 